Now, let us look at this list, inshallah ta'ala, so we can have some actionable things that we can walk away with right now today and implement them, bithilahi ta'ala, so that we may increase our iman, inshallah ta'ala. So, from those things which will increase the iman is to have understanding of the beautiful names and lofty attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Having understanding of the beautiful names and lofty attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this will increase a person's iman. So it is important that we take some time and we learn about the names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we may increase in our iman, we may have better understanding of our Lord and that which what it will result in our iman being increased. Naam, our actions being beautified, so on and so forth. It's going to benefit us in this world and inside of the next. Also from those things that will increase a person's iman, then they are contemplating over the biography of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Reflecting and con contemplating over the biography of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this will increase your iman. Naam, this will increase your iman. In general, learning about Islam, seeking knowledge, this will increase your iman. This is the next thing. This will increase your iman. Learning about the good qualities of Islam, the superiority of Islam, the, those hallmarks of Islam, and having fiqh and understanding of the religion, this will increase your iman. Naam? Because, I want you to reflect, in all of the aforementioned things, and it's like in everything that's going to be mentioned, you have in it what? what? The remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is going to increase your iman. Naam? Also, learning the biographies of the Salaf, of the righteous predecessors, from the Sahaba, from the second generation of Tabi'un, from the Etzbat Tabi'een, the third generation, and from those Imams of the Deen who came before, like learning about the four Imams, learning about their biographies, learning about their studies and their path of seeking knowledge, right? Learning about how they used to implement the knowledge in which they, they acquires, acquired learning about how they used to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so on and so forth. All of these things will what? They will increase a person's iman and be a source of motivation um, to, you know, to strive to, to compete with uh, the early generations of the Muslims, knowing that we're not going to catch the, the Sahaba, but to strive to compete, then as they say, uh, if you... If you shoot for the moon and miss, you'll still be amongst the stars, nah? uh, as, that, as, that, as that saying goes. Meaning, you shoot for something that is lofty, and even if you don't reach that particular thing, you're still going to reach a very high level. Bithnilahi nah? ta'ala. But, also, that which will help you to increase your iman will be to, comp to contemplate over the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inside of the creation. Naam. So when a person reflects and he looks at, for example, the sunset or the sunrise and they see the beautiful colors that are layered throughout the sky, when they see the crispness, the crispness of the sky and how clear it is, Naam. when they see that there are no rifts inside of the sky, there are no imperfections, there are no, you know, there, 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 there are no blemishes or anything like this inside of the sky. Then when they reflect over these things and they reflect that subhanallah, look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. Verily, all of this is only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This increases a person's iman because it reminds them of the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It reminds them of the good treatment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his slaves. That he has given them the likes of these things. He has given them the sky as a canopy that protects them from being pelted by celestial bodies and objects that are flying throughout space, it protects them from it. And not only is it a protection for, yani, for them, but then it gives them such beautiful scenery, right? Brings such enjoyment to them by looking at these wonderful colors and so on and so forth. So they are, yani, subhanAllah, so many, so many benefits that contain therein. And then likewise, reflecting on those things that Allah Ta'ala has created that benefit us, naam, which again, it, we understand from it what was aforementioned. All of these things, it will increase a person's iman and increase in person's yani, servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and will be a motivating factor for an individual to do that which is good and to stay away from that which is wrong. And then in general, 
obedience, as aforementioned, to the rules and the regulations and the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this will increase a person's iman. 